church. So please, if you don't have anything scheduled next Sunday afternoon, we'll get to lock that in for to support. It's always good when, when we go anywhere and see members of our family uh, come along. So please come out if you can. Okay. Uh, Reaching the level of excellence, part four. Is that where we are? Reaching the level of excellence, part four. Um, reaching the level of excellence, part four. Ministry. 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 We talked about already discipleship, that is, growing in Christ. We talked about evangelism, that is, reaching those outside the body of Christ. We talked about fellowship, that's assimilating with those inside the body of Christ, the church, that is. And today we're going to talk about ministry, that is, serving God while serving others, or serving those who are inside the church. Serving those who are inside the church. Being a servant of God. I think this is probably an interesting subject because um, sometimes when we come to church, we'll ask us to take a seat in just a minute, but sometimes when we come to church, it's almost like a spectator sport, isn't it? That's sort of, sort of like a spectator sport. Um, we uh, come to enjoy what? The choir, praise dancers, uh, we come and sort of sit and watch the what? The show. Or the program. Now, of course, we try to participate. Uh, and, and, and we, you know, we ask everybody to participate, stand on your feet, you know, and clap your hands and sing and give. But basically, we, uh, it's sort of like you're in the arena. You're in the arena. And, and uh, you've sort of come to... See, but the Bible sort of speaks a little bit different than that. It said we should not come to see, but we should come to serve. Mm -hmm. I went over and think about that initially because that's not what we taught in church. I didn't come to serve. I come to enjoy services. Leave me alone. But you really ministry. The word ministry means deacon. It means deaconess. It means slave. It means service. You really have come to do what? To serve. Now, well, okay, I came to serve God. Leave me alone. But the way you serve God is through serving others. God says you can't skip over your fellow man to get to me. You have got to go through your fellow man. Serving God is serving God's children. That is, all of us, each one of us, is a child of God, aren't we? And so, we are brothers and sisters. We stepped that last week from fellowship. And so, in order for me to serve God the way that God wants me to serve Him, and what pleases God is serving who? His children. And sometimes, as Christians, we sort of got out of that. And, and, and really, that's what, if you're going to be a complete, full-blooded Christian, you got to be a servant. How many of us want to serve God? Well, you got to be a slave to the person sitting next to you. Look, you want to look at him? <laughs> and that's essentially what God is saying. If you serve me, you got to serve others. Because that person sitting next to you is your brother in Christ, isn't she? Isn't he? He should be. Or your sister in Christ. And so, you know, we come and, you know, the atmosphere and, 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 and all these things are going on. But truly, if you're going to really have communication with God, then you got to communicate with others first. And that's what ministry is all about. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's bow our heads. We're going to ask us to take a seat tonight. Let's give the ushers a hand. Let's give the ushers a hand. Wait a minute. Before we, before we pray, did we miss something? New life.
place. Oh, any birthdays today? Brother McGuire. My birthday is today. Brother McGuire's birthday. Mine's not through the 